every single brand I consult has some level of issue when it comes to producing creatives. Now, could be from lack of expertise, could be lack of infrastructure, could be overall just lack of direction. Now, it's not your fault. My job here is to make your life easier and really just paint out the pathway that you could implement for your business today so that you could start yielding some sort of ROI. So if I were to summarize, how do we build the creative flywheel system and why is this important? Well, first things first, our ad spin is directly correlated to the amount of concepts we have ready to test. So if I have one brand, we're only doing five concepts a month. Let's say it's three total ads per concept. I'm doing 15 total testable ads. I'm probably only going to spend anywhere from like 1000 to maybe like $500 in that given month for those overall, all those concepts, depending on AOV. And if the AOV, let's say is a hundred dollars and I might be spending anywhere from like one to 1.5 really depends. Now I take that same exact brand and let's say we just double the concepts. Now, instead of five, we did 10 concepts. That's 30 total testable ads in a given month. That's the amount of tests you can run on that and the amount of chances you have of finding a winner are directly correlated to volume, right? Now, over time, the more volume you're testing, the more ideal customer profiles you're expanding, you're growing your customer base, you're testing new angles, new concepts. You might go from a static to a GIF to now fully invest into UGC. This is kind of the loop we play on when it comes to the creative flywheel system. We want to maximize our chances. Now, when it comes to script writing, briefing, and when you are at that stage of working with content creators, you really want to streamline that process. And when I mean streamline, it's pretty simple. It's if a creator who's never worked with my business wants to shoot content for my brand, how can I make this process as easy as possible? So in order to eliminate risk, you need to build systems. And when you have systems in place, it makes your life way, way more easier. So for example, when it comes to the creative brief process and what that entails, it's the same way we define our terms at this stage within the flywheel system. It's mainly like if I were to break it down into teams, it's you have your creative strategist at the top of the fold. You have the editor underneath them. You might have a creative coordinator underneath them. But the main thing is the creative strategist is doing market research using tech like foreplay, like meta ads, library, Reddit forms, customer reviews across Amazon from competitors, existing customer reviews from site. And then from there, we're defining terms in terms of angles. Right. Who are we targeting with this concept? How can we reach our ideal customer profile? Are we hitting men from ages 25 to 45? Are we hitting women ages 35 to 45 that are married, right? Uh, relationships, whatever. We want to identify who our ideal customer profile is at the very start. And then from there, we reverse engineer concepts as far as ways that we can portray them to get them to stop scrolling on our advert. Now, order operations, when it comes to producing, statics by far are the most effective because you can create a, like five static concepts within an hour, anywhere from one to two to three hours. It, it really doesn't take that much work. GIFs, a bit more editing, a bit more visuals. And then the last creative concept that takes the longest, anywhere from two, three to even four weeks is UGC. It really depends on the content creator, how good the quality of content is shot, and ultimately how good your editor is in post-production to make the UGC feel native. But all in all, I mean, the dimensions, uh, as far as just the way we go about our testing, we start off with statics first, then GIFs, then UGC, pretty simple. And then of course, for every single concept, we have two additional variations, making it three total adverts and one single concept. So just to map it out, now if I were to break it down in depth, in action, what we send to our ideal all of our creators it's as you can see we have a creative brief the creative strategist has pretty much maximizes this outlines a video length a video hook video reference and then from there we have of course tonality lighting general guidelines be organic be yourself video brief of just overall the summary of the video what we're going to talk about and then we have lines action storyboard so as you can see everything is uh, pictured out so when the creator reads this they read the line, they see the action, they have the storyboard visual, they have a video that kind of goes along with that. So you're eliminating the amount of risk on brand new creators because you have everything mapped out to a T. You have your video brief, key talking points, lines, action, storyboard. So this is for like a UGC creative brief concept. 
For a static, you don't need as much detail. But I say this to say, these documents, this right here, this streamlined process, where the okay, strategist just research, then builds out pain points, then uses GPT, then creates uh, concepts, then the media buying team goes about testing. Then uh, we're making iterations to our last test. And then from there, we're expanding on new concepts. We're like, okay, these concepts that involved, let's say, a certain amount of angles were efficient in this area. Let's take it to the next level. Let's build into a GIF. Let's build into UGC. Expand with variations. Can we make a 30 second clip, a 25 second clip? Can we make a 25 second clip, a 15 second clip? Can we split hooks? Can we test uh, actual, the creative demographic of who's shooting our content? So I say this to say, sky's the limit with creatives. It's you need the right foundation. You need the right systems in place. You need the right documents. Because I can tell you, if you don't have that, you're going to waste a lot of time and you're going to waste a lot of money when you could have expedited the process and have the creative flywheel system built internally. Because that's what I do at scalevelocity.io. I help brands build in house for exits. And to be honest, to be a brand that spends north of 100k a month in ad spend, 500k a month in ad spend, you don't need a big team. You can get by with just a lean team of five. Your creative strategist, editor, creative coordinator, maybe if one or two full stack media buyers, maybe a, a CRM specialist. That's it. That's all you need to scale. So if you want to skip the phase of you getting burned by ad agencies and putting all your eggs in one basket, you can check out scalevelocity.io. You can read my free 30 page protocol, breaking this all down, how to get set up for an exit, how to build a house, how to turn your ads profitable on the front end. And if you want to skip the phase, right, you're just tired of working with agencies. You're tired of paying their retainers. You can book a call speak directly with me. And if I feel like you're qualified, I'll make you an offer to become one of our partners in our portfolio of brands under management. As we head into Q4, this is probably one of the most pivotal moments of the year. And then make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, just drop them down below and I'll answer.